Welcome to Kennesaw, Georgia, in the greater Atlanta area and home to the Owls of Kennesaw State, where these fans have been eagerly anticipating this one all week. As we wind our way toward the end of another college football season, one of the grand traditions is paying tribute and respect to those who have just poured their souls into the success of this program and honor the seniors on Senior Day. As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. They'll leave it with him. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. Man, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. The receiver looks it in. It's complete. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. Comes out throwing on first down. Trying to get behind the defense. And he grabs it at the 15. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. The give to the tailback. He hits that hole. It opened up for him as he gets six and all the way out to the nine-yard line. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Right back to it. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. They've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. Back on the field after the break, and we'll start the quarter here on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They'll pick up the first down as he gets it out to the 27-yard line. I'll say, watching this offense this year, one of the things you have to be really happy about is their ability to move the sticks. This is one of the top 25 offenses in the country in getting first downs. That running back is one of the biggest reasons. He is a weapon. They'll snap it from the 25 here on second and long. Well, there was really nowhere to go for the quarterback with that football. He's just trying to check it down to his running back, and the defense was there, and they made the play. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. And he's ridden to the ground, but there's also a flag down. Let's check the call. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Give to the fullback. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Oh, and I love it. They give the ball to the fullback. You don't even see him in the game all the time. But when he is, it's always unselfish, pounding people. I love when you toss him a little, toss him a little love and give him the rock. You ever wish you'd played fullback instead? No. You would have been a great fullback. Great H-back. Just hit people, hit people, hit them again, hit them again. Now nah, I'm good. I'll go get the quarterback. A little screen to the running back. They bring him down, but a solid pick up to put them in position to pick up a first down. We've reached a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Trying to get to it. They're setting up the screen. Oh, what a move. Oh, the pirouette gets him loose. And he's brought down after a huge completion. This running back is so dangerous. He's going to hurt you running the ball, but they find creative ways to get him the ball in the passing game as well. Beautiful job setting up the screen. He was acting as if he was blocking. Let the defender run. And the ball is loose in the backfield. 
Everybody needs a little luck, and the offense just got it by falling on that fumble. Good awareness by the offense. You never want to see the ball on the ground, but a nice job understanding just kind of jump on it and make sure you keep possession. Dialing up a second down pass play. You don't give a hoot, Kennesaw! They're going to open this drive with a pass. The receiver was doubled, and they picked it off. Taking it the other way. He'll go out of bounds at the... He'll come out throwing on first down. Snags it down the right side. He's loose. Smashes ahead. And he eluded the defense. Hey. Going to the run to start this second half. Works ahead for a couple, they'll stop him at the 27. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football, you're ahead, you can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass, this keeps everything in balance for this offense. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. Sticks it in his belly. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Sometimes you try to fool the defense with the fullback. Not fooled there. Well, you better block for Goodness gracious, that's supposed to be a quick hitter. Get me a few short yards, and there was nowhere to hit it. They just got hit in the backfield and brought the big fella down quickly. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. He'll get it to about the 25. the gun the ground game pass the first down marker and still running and they get him out of bounds but not before a sizable pickup on that one at the end of the quarter it's Kennesaw State on top and as we switch ends of the field let's take a quick look at the national rankings One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Use the play fake, now to throw. It's complete to the left. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. His offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. The give to the back. Showing off that power as he plows ahead to the 38. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Man, it's so nice to have a guy that you can depend on. Like, this, this offense is built around him for a reason. Just a, a good running back. You can see, gets north-south, doesn't dance, picks up positive yards, breaks tackles. He's just a really good player. And that's why this offense runs through him. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. He's now up to 83 yards on the ground, and that's just another routine day for this guy who's been among the nation's leaders in rushing all season long. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. Got three on first down at second and seven. This offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. Ready, 
We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. On third and long, try to convert through the air. It's complete on the right side. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets it up on the catch for the first down. They'll use a timeout here. You have to be certain at this point in the game. They want that clock to run. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And as they come to the line, they have the lead and they have the clock on their side. First and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Hand off to the fullback. And again, he gets nothing. This defense is not giving up anything on the goal line. All right, you know what the offense is trying to accomplish. They're trying to run that clock, so we've got to find a way to get the stop here, not let them eke out more of the clock as we're going along so we can get the ball back to the offense and get back in this game and maybe try to go win this thing. That's a great job executing up front by the defense. They looked like they were ready for that play, and that was a bit of a more unconventional look from the offense on third down, but the defense was there to make a big stop. Quick pass on the jet motion. He is stopped short. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. On the set. Easy. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Touchdown, Owls! And... Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. You want to talk about building confidence, coming through with clutch plays, making the winning plays at the right time can really set the course for the rest of the season. Yeah, Reese, maturity and experience matters. And this team has guys that have played a lot of snaps, they've seen a lot of looks, and they've lost close games like this in the past. That wasn't the case today, David. Too many guys out there making big time plays. And I think belief is what you build. That confidence, you know you're gonna win. You don't think you're gonna win. You know you're gonna make that play in the big moment that continues to build on week to week success. And you look up and you're like, dang, we strung a couple wins together. That's gonna do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese